Greetings traveler and welcome to another one of my speed builds. For today our travels bring us to Windenburg and we're building an English kind of house. I call this the Frankenstone estate because it's like a bunch of different buildings and different styles that have been Frankenstein together. And the way I look at this build, of course, it's based on a Pinterest. Let me show you the picture first. Um, this is not something that I have created out of my imagination, but here's the pin. And uh, the way I look at it is that this has been uh, run down and renovated so many different times over the years. And as soon as we kind of have like the basic shape of the build and the basic layout um, more fleshed out, I'm going to go into that in detail and explain to you how exactly um, this has been Frankensteined. But for now, I advise you to grab a snack or a drink to enjoy it as you watch this video and I'll be continuing the voiceover in a bit. So now you can see the build really coming together and let me explain to you exactly how I think of this build. So you can see some parts of it are just ruined walls and there is barely much left from them. So I think of that as the original building that stood here once and then over the years after that building was ruined, this brick addition was then created and then a few years later there was this middle part that has been added as well to this building um, maybe because this was the architectural style that was dominant in that period because as you can see it doesn't really match the vibe of the rest of the build so yeah that middle part with the stones has been added and the gothic windows so it's in this kind of gothic architectural style as opposed to the rest of the build which is um, mostly made of brick and then that gothic part also kind of got run down and in order to renovate it they kind of patched it up with this white brick that you can see on the right side of the gothic middle part um, maybe because they didn't have the material or the means to recreate this gothic stone and this gothic architecture so instead they opted for um, some modern white brick and then maybe later on they also added the last room which is right on the right of the build towards the end the far right end so it's a true blend of history and architecture and i also think that at some point the roof of the gothic part also caved in which is why they replaced it with this kind of roof with the glass and yeah, um, architecturally speaking, it's a very interesting build. I'm not sure if it's realistic, but I just saw it in the pin and thought it looked very cute. 
and unique. So that's why I went to recreate it in The Sims. And of course, it's very overgrown. We have ivy and sort of these rose bushes climbing on the side of the building and it all looks absolutely magical in my opinion and yeah in the backyard i'm also gonna use some ruins and these ruins by the way come with all all of them come with cottage living so as long as you have that you should be able to have these ruins exactly as they are and uh, by the way if you see a lot of jumping around in this video um i'm sorry about that but i don't know what happened to the footage here it just um it's non-existent i'm not sure if i didn't record these parts in the first place or something happened to the files but yeah you're gonna see this happen quite a few times in this video unfortunately so I'm really sorry about that I just really love the backyard overall we have a pool and we have so many activities both for your adult and your children sims to do and you're gonna see all of those just now I just wanted to say that I used some items from Lily's Palace in this build, but if you don't have her CC and you don't want to download anything new, I think it's easily replaceable. It's just a few um, outdoor activities like a birdhouse, a chicken coop, and a chicken feeder. And then I used one item from her on the roof on the front. But if you don't want to get any new CC, you can replace that with any of the roof pieces, like either from EA or from your CC. There are a lot of options that you can replace that roof piece with. So we're now moving on to the interior and you might be asking why does this living room look Mediterranean and I honestly don't know, it wasn't 
exactly intended like that. Maybe I was a bit influenced and inspired by some Mediterranean interiors I've been checking out in、um, Pinterest. But yeah, I kind of wanted this kind of、um, white stone farmhouse. Maybe slash Mediterranean kind of vibe in the interior. So, yeah, this is what we have going on with the interior. I use the white stone walls that come with the organic set from House of Harlex, and then this beautiful terrazzo floor is from the Florence set from Felix Andre. And I also Combine this beautiful fireplace from Pierre Sims' Demand du Clos set with this beautiful hood piece, which I think is from Peacemaker. And overall, I really love the living room, it's、uh, one of my favorite interior design styles. And over here, we just have this little library, but it's so cute. I put also a fountain in here, and I created this really cute kind of gallery wall here, and I really like it so much. This part here is the inside of the Gothic part, which is the middle part of the build. And I have to say, I really love this part here. It's、um, interesting. It's not exactly like fully indoors, it kind of feels outdoorsy because、um, A, I use just arches to separate it from the outside. We also have the organic shutters, but they're not. Actually, like they, they don't really close off the archways, you can still go through them. So, yeah, the doorway to this part here isn't exactly sealed in any way. And then, instead of actual flooring, I don't have a real floor, I just use some terrain paint,、um, which is, I think, exactly like the one on the outside, and I also used it. To paint the floor here. And yeah, I really love this kitchen. It's very, very cozy and cluttered. And I feel like I've been using these counters a lot, especially in my last few builds. But as I said, I love them so much. They're from the Woodland Ranch pack from Pierisum. And I just love them. And then I also put the dining room in here, and an outdoor grill, and also a bar.
I really love the idea that I'm doing here with the hanging pots and pans. So we basically have this ceiling beam, which is from Pierre Sim as well as the pens. And um, so I use the tool mod to kind of push them out away from the wall and make them appear as if they're hanging from the wooden beam. Before I forget, the barn doors that you just saw here are from Lily's Palace. I'm talking about this door on the right. And like I said, if you don't have her CC and you don't want to download anything new, you can replace the doors with any other barn doors or, you know, regular doors that you have. So here we have a very interesting room. I didn't know what to do with this detached part of the house, so I decided to turn it into a fun hangout spot, either for, you know, children, teenagers, or adults, it doesn't matter, everyone can have fun in here. We have the um, game table from Get Together, the one with Don't Wake the Llama, we have the foos table, and then we have this kind of arcade machine game thing, which is also, I think, from Get Together, if I'm not mistaken. And then next to that, we have a little movie room, and I just really love it. It's fun. And then I also changed the color, uh, the colors of the lights in here. So we have this kind of pink, reddish tone. We are now upstairs and the way you access this floor is through the stairs that are in the middle part, in the gothic part. So this is the upstairs of the gothic part that you're seeing right now and it's the only access point to this floor here, the first floor. I have to say the ceiling in this room looks a little bit weird. I mean, we know ceilings in this game generally don't really look good and especially not after the ceilings broke with one of the recent updates, but yeah, just a heads up, uh, just don't look at the ceiling while you're in this room. But it's such a shame because the ceiling from the outside, like the roof, really looks nice and this glass part should really make this beautiful lighting effect and yeah it's really such a shame and uh you know speaking of bugs my game has reached a point where it's absolutely unplayable and i've been really pissed with this i haven't really been building as much as i wanted to because i keep coming across all kinds of bugs new kinds of bugs and my game keeps crashing so yeah i haven't really been able to play at all in the past few days um i've really complained about this a lot on my instagram stories if you're following me but i basically have a weird build mode bug where um you can move your camera around, you can interact with the game environment, with the UI, with everything, but the game never actually does anything, doesn't respond. So for example, if you grab one of your items in the house and try to move it around or delete it or change the swatch or whatever, um, nothing happens, the game doesn't respond. And also you can't undo, you can't redo, and also you can't exit or save the game because if you do that it freezes and crashes and then that bug evolved to the point that when it happens and then I force exit the game from my desktop 
and try to reboot it and continue playing with my household, it doesn't load into the lot anymore. It just crashes again. Um, so the fix for that was to completely evict my household and then grab a different household and have them move into the house in order to load into the lot. And then at some point, the, the same bug happens again and so on and so forth. So um, I'm building this really huge villa, which I'm hoping to be able to finish. Uh, I'm really not hopeful because of this bug that keeps happening, but I'm really wishing to finish this villa because I really want to completely furnish it and share it with you guys. So yeah, this, um, this bug has been happening with this villa and I've moved like about five or six different household in households in and out of the villa um, to try and combat that bug and it's been very 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 annoying and um i don't know about you guys what kind of bugs are you having with the game are you actually able to play it because to me it's very unplayable at this point um, I also have the bug where the game crashes right after you leave create a sim so yay so many bugs and yeah it, it is really unplayable so let me know in the comments um, if I'm the only one even though I doubt that I am um, but enough rambling on and on about the bugs um, I think we're actually almost at the end of the build. I've been just wasting the whole voiceover complaining about this issue. So um, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you again in the next one. Don't forget to like, subscribe and leave a comment. If you want to download this, you're gonna find all the links in the description. I have a link that goes to my Patreon where you're gonna find all the CC links and the tray files for free, of course. And you can also download this from my gallery. My ID is just the same as my channel name. And to my supporters on Patreon, you guys are the best. I love you so much. If you want to support me on Patreon, I would truly, truly appreciate that. And see you soon. Bye.